The second supplementary question will be asked by the Honorable, the Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Mr. President, you cannot have a capable state with catered deployment. You are mutually exclusive. So you chaired a committee within your party that implemented this policy, and many good people were displaced out of public service with the politically connected cadres. Now, Mr. President, that is precisely why we're challenging this policy in the court. During the Sony debate this year, Minister Lamola openly said, and I quote, the ANC has done cadre deployment before, and we will continue to do it, unquote. Despite the glaring evidence that the Zondo Commission produced about how devastatingly damaging this policy is on building a capable state and how it engenders corruption. Mr. President, do you agree with them? And will you continue with the policy of cadre deployment? Honorable the President. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. As a governing party, like any party that governs, we will appoint and place people who are capable, people who know what work needs to be done. Now, you may want to say that is cater development. You may want to call it whatever. I know for a fact, you know, I testified at the Zondo Commission. I, I, con I testified there and I gave examples and I set out examples from the OECD, where the OECD did a paper on what governing parties do. And I brought it down finally to what the DA itself has been doing. Because the DA, no, 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 but listen first. The DA itself, the DA itself, where it governs, it appoints people, people who are aligned with its own philosophy, people who are often, but I must give you one credit though. There was one time, one person, I think it's in the Western Cape, who was clearly sort of branded ANC, but the DA government kept that person. And why do they keep that person? Because they said, that person is really good what they, at what they do. But for the most part, no, Leicester, Leicester Moy, Leicester Moy, but for the most part, the DA has been the real expert. The real expert at making sure that the people that they appoint are people who are aligned to their own thinking and philosophy. You look at their records and they've been unashamed about it. They've been quite clear that this is precisely how they operate. Now, they, 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 they hide it. They hide behind this notion of accusing the ANC of cater development. Now, I mean, we, no, but listen first. We have cadres. Amongst ourselves, we call ourselves cadres. Like we call ourselves comrades. And I guess the comrades marathon got that term from us. That's what we call ourselves. Now, however, and I do want you to listen to this carefully. When we do, when we do get people appointed, we look at capability. And let me say, <laughs> let me say, it does not mean, like in your case, it does not mean that there have not been people who should not have been appointed. That we will ad admit. Yeah, it does not mean that there are, there, are, there, there are people who should not have been appointed. But when we do appoint people, we appoint people who have deep knowledge and we check their capability, their experience. And that is how we appoint people. We will not depart from that type of approach. That will continue being our approach. So, and in doing so, in doing so, we are no different 
from other parties around the world. That is exactly how governing parties operate. So that's what the DA does, and that's what the ANC will continue doing. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. I thank you, the Honorable the President.